and the whole world is watching in three, two, and go. Uh, uh, hi, the world. Uh, hi, world. Hi, world. Yo, I mean. Yo. Uh, we're in the Uber. Hanging in the Uber. God, you got, okay, first of all, this is yeah. what you do, you're like, and we're back for the live comedy show right here on Uber. We are joined by Jory and Ashley, and of course, Justin Robert Young. Hello, Justin. How are you Hi. doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? A lot of people say that Ubers aren't possible, and I say, fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is a weird are. thing for them to say. Yeah, because they're clearly because, because it's fucking a real, no, a lot of people Uber right say Ubers uh, I mean, yeah. aren't possible, and I call them local governments. Uh, yeah. But here in Austin, cool. it's uh, for real. The dream is real. Hearts are flowing. Uh, hearts are flowing? flowing? Yeah, right there. <laughs> no, look, oh, look, these look, hearts. Yeah, I see. Oh, I think you look like it. <laughs> All right, Ashley, uh, as you know, our Uber Entertainment Variety Hour comedy station uh, yeah. placement. Uh, our format is. This isn't viral marketing. No, I mean not I'm, here for Uber. For, um, Although if you download the app Uber right now and enter in promo code uh, Hershey's. Uh, Hershey's uh, kisses. They're the best of all the kisses. If you enter in uh, Hershey's kisses. Hershey's. Don't oh don't God. drop them on the ground or they look like dog turns. <laughs> <laughs> this message that, right? brought to you like, by and, and then Hershey's download Uber. kisses. And then Somebody enter the really promo code your Hershey's uh, dude, kisses. Man, it's, it's a bukkake of hearts is, over here. It's crazy. But if you drop them right, on the Ashley. ground, they look like dog shit. Then you will get a million Ubers. All right, hold on. We, 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 are, we are interviewing our special guest, uh, Ashley. Yeah. Talk to us. What do you feel comfortable telling the internet that you do for a living? A Besides, look fabulous in the cape. What? I'm a stripper, guys, and a superhero. Wait, you Jesus are both Christ! A stripper and like a, superhero? a superhero stripper. Uh, that's in both worlds, I must say. I'm yeah. Like, okay. All right. So let's I obviously. Also, that's the end of this broadcast. Important. Let me just pause all this. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let's focus on what's more important. Why did you dedicate your life to fighting crime? <laughs> that is the because real question. <laughs> the truth is, you've got to have something to balance out the stripping. Right. Uh, wait. Hold a on. A little bit of this... good with bad, kind yeah. of. Thing? Yeah. See that that way, right? Is this stripping like a good place for you to mark down like all the terrorist leaders and then That's and then like I find them, fight and then them? I chase them down you kick and their they ass in the evening. Are, are you stripperella or is that just an inspiration? It's totally an inspiration. I knew it. See, I knew it. I Shit, it. man. Stanley original score a win. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, let me let me flip over to our Uber driver. Uh, nine months, you say. You've yeah. Been, you've been driving yeah. an Uber. Nine in. months, you've said your name is Joby, and now uh, apparently. <laughs> and now finally, his joy. Now the uh, truth can be told. Can you please answer this discrepancy? My name is Jory, and I've been driving for nine months with Uber. All right. Uh, and before that, uh, uh, before, before that doing? was a wonderful job-to-job -job affair where I just kind of found work, and then before that was military. So you were in you were in uh, uh, I was in the army for uh, eight years. I was in Afghanistan twice. Oh wow! Are you are you are you listening to uh, Serial this season? The podcast? No. Oh yeah, I'm it's not. about uh. Yeah, that's that, about that guy. guy. Yeah, Bo about that guy with that thing, right? The guy Bo with that thing. In the place. Yeah. yeah so are, are you familiar with, with with the Bo Bergdahl situation? The um, I was spot? actually that the. Um, when Bo Bergdahl did his little kidnapping thing, his little yeah. kidnapping his, thing, his so-called, um, well, we'll call it a affliction for now. I was actually on affliction deployment. Affliction t-shirts? Yeah. And not only was I on deployment when he did that, he was part of my unit. What the and, what? And no way. Also, your know. name is, well, not uh, part of my unit directly, but he was part of the unit that was deployed, that I was deployed with. Yeah. Wow. So, in fact, the father that he left, uh, two of my... Uh, fellow signalier soldiers, uh, guys I work with personally every day. Yeah, they were on the fob when he when he kind of disappeared. Holy yeah. cow! So you are you are say that he bah, bah, left bah, the fob with nothing but a canteen and a knife. But yeah. Wow. Rumors would have it that he was in um, shorts, t-shirt, and left with bare necessities. So, okay, okay, so real quick, like, like I assume you haven't listened to the Serial podcast about it, right? No, I have not, because I, it angers my blood. I, I would I imagine, imagine, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Little so, um, what, 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 what are the big things that she, uh, Sarah Koenig keeps, you know, essentially positioning is like, hey man, whether or not this was a dumb idea, doesn't oh, sound like he was defecting. Uh, like, what, what's your take on that? Um, if you leave a military fob in a terrorist country, 
or not, I should, I should say hostile country, I apologize for the right terminology. Yeah, 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 yeah you're in a difficult yeah. situation. Where there is nothing but the possibility of um, enemies around you, and you just randomly leave without military permission of any sort. Yeah. Where you're not even supposed to leave the, you're, you're not even allowed to go outside. Of whatever. But... Uh, when you hear about like the condition he was in when they grabbed him, the question is like now that he's back home, do, do we serve up more jail time for him or, or like like because like he was in in rough shape according to an entertainment podcast I listened to once. Right. So as to how he was picked up, it's it's kind of up in the air. I've heard a lot of different stories about his condition. Overall, um, the fact that he was not <clears throat> held accountable for his actions in any way, shape, or form through the military or the U.S. government, I believe that not only is jail time a minimum, it is a requirement at this point. Yeah. Because he had to have, at some minor subconscious way, knowingly or not consciously, what he was doing had to have had an inkling of an idea that what he was doing was probably not going to be a good idea. Now, the fact that he may or may not have done it to bring light to working conditions, I don't know about that specifically. Yeah. Right. But I do know I that... Well, that that's his argument, you know, well, and... He, he hold on. More importantly, we are about to lose one of the nation's greatest treasures, the only stripper slash superhero yeah. that has right. ever ridden yeah, in an Uber right with us. Okay. I know, I can't believe I'm leaving you guys. This is so sad. Oh my god. It is yeah, pretty sad. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you all. Wait, wait, for real, are you really a superhero? <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> I was you just she brings really? joys. She brings joys to hundreds of people. And also, by the way, where are you a superhero? <laughs> Yeah, when, where can we see when you? When you work superhero <laughs> ships. Oh, yeah, you know that strip club down on Congress? Yeah, that one. That one. Okay, right on. That's Dude, where we that's solve amazing. Crimes. Yeah. All right, so everybody wants to solve spot. crimes together. And, and you show up there at like noon. Yeah. Awesome. Everyone's so, saying we should have you yeah, on yeah, as a guest. Yeah, by night, I'm a superhero. So yeah, exactly. Only it, it's only your yeah. day job. Yeah. So, yeah during this take special. I'm wondering when it's she's you're not solving crime. Yes. It is, exactly. When, it's, when, it's at noon if there's, on Congress. That's just my cover. If there's, if there's crimes happening, it's only because she's off duty. Yeah. So if you get robbed and you're like, fuck me, I got robbed. Sorry, I was too busy at the I'm show sorry. Show. Like, oh, she's trying to pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, trying, she's trying to get those dollar bills. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Sometimes Wait. you got to oh, get I'm sorry. crimes. Well, then you need to uh, talk to the What if you try scheduling your crimes from now on? Yeah, if you would use the, uh, it's calendars.google.com yeah. slash uh, crime strip. Yeah. And crime then there is a and well, then, crime stripper. Yeah. Crime stripper. Gracias. This well, was an amazing. Bye. That was great meeting you guys. Great meeting you. Too. Great cool meeting stories. you. That's like great. Time. Yep. Have fun. See you later. Bye. That lady definitely has a cape. She definitely has a cape. Uh, she also has other things. Uh, that I, you I, can I, see here at South Congress. Oh, damn. All right. Um, so, ain't that so seriously. Yeah. Let's stop holding back about Bo Bergdahl. <laughs> yeah, it's about time that we really broke down to the real honest truth. All uh, right, the honest truth is I don't think he should have ever been publicly... His name, the fact that it's even a public thing at all... Drives, just, drives you it's nuts? A, it's a disgrace. I'm sorry, all right, all right. I believe that... Hold on, hold on, real quick. Too. We're going to do a live recording of Serial. Ready? Uh-oh. Bum, 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 bum. Hi. Bum, Sarah bum, 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 We're here bum, in an Uber. Bum, bum, and, bum, you know, bum, bum, I was thinking, bum, bum, let's ask the Uber driver. Bum, bum, Turns out, bum, bum, he was in bum, Afghanistan, bum, too. Bum, bum. So, when you were in Afghanistan, did you think that Bo Bergdahl violated a central tenet of your core beliefs that uh, you do not defect uh, at all for anything because that's like the central tenet of why you were there as a military person? I do believe that it was a horrible decision. I believe that he deserted and defected and was should totally be held accountable for his actions. I heard that he defected <laughs> and objected 
and, and suspected. Suspected. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Brian Brush. Circumspected. Ah. That's Brian Brushwood. He was just yelling. He has no idea what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> I listened to this podcast. It was on the NPR. Do you know the way podcasts work? Ba, 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 he didn't know. <laughs> Um, um, he just um, heard some um, other people um, talking um, about um, it and started to start yelling. Uh, <laughs> all right, so so real quick, yeah. uh, I think here's the biggest thing that even in in the Zero Show, which I think is, is probably more fair than uh, it'll get. Oh, it's not fair. With, it's with, not with fair. People. If if exploiting more the fair, corpse, more fair. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's showing up after a fucking disaster and then coming on the corpses. And cereal. Nah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I guess we can meet visual. ourselves halfway. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're all right. Listen, halfway between coming on corpses <laughs> and just a lady doing a podcast. <laughs> listen, the truth is always in the middle. So always right? in the middle. I think we can agree to disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, like, like uh, on, on this specific point, uh, in that, like. Uh, and I really had a lot of problems about the first season of Serial with, like, the murder trial thing. Uh, this, I feel like, at, at this point in the show that they've released, like, there is no doubt by anybody that, like, at the best case scenario, he's just the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. Like who is like it was not it was not a great really execution plan. It was not it's not a great plan. And also not, like you know you can write into like oh shit like he had a lot of mental problems and and then they hint at the idea that like uh, as the surge uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq became a thing uh, that they were letting in people that probably shouldn't have been in the military. Well, and, and they, they talked about the there. fact that he failed psychological examination for the Coast Guard, but then they relaxed and they were like, yeah, he's all right. Yeah. And they got so him in like, for the Army. Well, during that time, I can tell you personally that when, um, it was shortly after I was enlisted that they started changing a lot of the standards uh, to which the military personnel are usually held yeah. before they are enlisted, i.e. tattoos that yeah. normally had to be within a certain standard and location on your body that were not originally allowed were allowed. Weight standards have been slipped by. And I mean, wait, wait, there's, always standards? Hearsay, there's always hearsay that sometimes there are physical fitness standards that were not accounted for. Yeah. Um, I personally know that there was a soldier in my basic training battalion who purposely tried to get out of being in the military to the point where he was trying to fail his qualifications for his rifle certification. And just couldn't do it? Maybe. No, he just didn't want to. Okay. And maybe or maybe not, there was a drill instructor somewhere on the line who was hitting his targets for him. Really? What? Uh, I cannot confirm nor deny no, that because that's I wasn't physically urban there. Urban legend. Urban also, legend, yeah. That uh, is something that we kind of, as a group, during the basic training phase, knew that he didn't want to be anywhere. In fact, he would constantly cause problems on purpose. Whether or not we were physically punished as a group, and I don't mean punished, I mean disciplined in accordance with military regulations. Yeah. You know, uh, corrective training, physical fitness, so on and so forth. Sure. You know, and he would constantly allow for those disciplinary actions to be taken upon the group as a whole. Because while he was he being didn't a dick. Any, so yeah. he would not cave into peer pressure, he would not cave into the authority of the drill sergeants. He would not, he just flat out refused to do what he was told to do. So, the fact that he was pushed through forcefully through the basic training program makes me wonder why was he even there? Who yeah. let him in? In a volunteer force. Yeah, in a volunteer force where you're not allowed yeah. to be forced into the military at all, there's still supposed to be rumors where people get to go to jail or go to war, you know, little. Deal, but you know what? That's pretty much been done away with since the nineties. And you know what? I've seen standards of people who've gone through the military, and I look at them, and I'm like, "How do you tie your shoes in the morning?" Because yeah. obviously, you shouldn't be here. I mean, people who once they got out of training came to a an active duty unit. Yeah. And you know where they're supposed to be stationed for you know the next two however many years. Yeah. 
But even then, and, and they couldn't uphold the standards that they were supposed to be given. So even then, though, like if if you if there is somebody and you have known them very obviously, like that just shouldn't be there, right? Right. But yet they do something so stupid. Yeah. Like it's like you know whether or not they let you in for the wrong reasons. Like you need to pay penance to everybody else that's out here sacrificing. Well, yeah, I would have to say that um, whether or not they were forced into the situation and pushed through the situation, they still, on some level, are are still soldiers, you know, yeah. or airmen or marines or what have you. They're service members. Is yeah. What, you know, the general uh, term is for all of us. And <coughs> you know what? Some of them they got their, they got their stuff together. They flew right and they did the best they could. Yeah. You know, sometimes hey. their best wasn't enough to stay in the military, so they were. Um, chaptered out, not dishonorably. More often than not, they were given an honorable discharge. They just couldn't, com- you know, commit to hold up. But they had to fuck off. Like, Basically, you know, they had yeah. to fuck off. They're like, hey, you're, you tried really hard. And but good for you. Yeah, but obviously hey, it wasn't enough. You need to get the Still a great out. evening. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are, are you, uh, I'm looking at your uh, at your display, and it says, St- uh, Scott Ackerman, are you a podcast fan? Um, oh, me, myself? Yeah. Um, I uh, I listen to iHeartRadio. That's actually what that was. I was listening to the, to the uh, comedy stylings right through iHeartRadio. Right on. Comedy Central, through uh, the comedy channel. Uh, so, so, so you, uh, uh, iHeartRadio just randomly serves up whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like a short channel. clips yeah. of comedians. Yeah. That you, I mean, it's my favorite channel. Oh, man, it's my favorite channel because I'm one of those people I get really affected by my surroundings, my environment. So if I have stupid, funny stuff playing, I'm pretty much in a good mood all day. Man. And I'll then tell I you hear what. Justin Bieber, then I go and murder. So l- listen, like uh, no one wants that. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. So no, I mean, like, I was just randomly, you know, like I was hearing some guys on the internet, and they were called Night Attack, and I was oh, laughing dude. and no, laughing. No, I hear about Night Attack it was all really the time. Fun. I feel like that that's uh, something that you should download on your iTunes or Stitcher or anywhere where podcasts are available and listen to. I, well, not only that, but I feel like once you fall in love with Night Attack, which I'm pretty sure you will because it's raw and honest and two individuals really bear yeah. their hearts as they try to make it in the comedy and magic world. Yeah. I feel like if you want to take the next step, what you ought to do is go to patreon.com yeah. slash, slash Night Attack. Night Attack and You'll get exclusive mixtapes, including a yeah. new one dropping this week. See, here's my favorite bit, though, on Night Attack. Yeah. Uh, and this is something they did, like, fucking, like, years ago, way before it was on Serial. They were like, fuck Bob Bergdahl. Man, what a oh, piece man. of shit he is. Yeah, that, uh, that was the original name it of was the podcast. The, yeah, it was the, fuck the original Bob Bergdahl, was right? like, like, hey, listen, like, you fucking put other people in danger. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that was all of our thoughts, too, by the way. Yeah, 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 but it was that. Oh my God, that's so coincidental because it yeah. was that good by this podcast. It was, it was amazing. Thing, you know? yeah. So weird. Came so weird. Circle, came yeah, circle, exactly. It was worth the wait. Worth it. Dude, uh, uh, this is uh, man. This was amazing. Shit got like real here. Yeah, yeah it was fucking awesome. We thought we were gonna probably talk about like boobs and dicks or I something. Mean, oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not too late. Talk about whatever. Okay, real quick, real quick. If you boobs or dicks, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you could only touch one for the rest of your life, would it be uh, boobs or butts? Or dicks? I mean, fucking the holy, well, I, holy oh, yeah, yeah. Third party, uh, Ralph Nader. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if I had to choose one. It would have to be butts. Yeah, that's why I meant to be. Oh. Because that's Freak Action. He's the ass man. That's Freak Action. Bam, bam. You know, they're in the same area. You well, know? plus, uh, yeah, uh, the ass is closer to the business, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, tits are great. Big tits, little tits. It's just, everything in Japan is like one, basically, tentacle away from being porn anyways. Yeah. It really is. Let me yeah. real In quick. fact, there are regular anime with tentacles in it that I'm surprised weren't porn. Wait, they weren't, they weren't porn? Yeah, it's, no. it's surprising that there is actually non-porn Japanese cartoons out there. No, no that, that's, 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 that's PG-13. Right? Is that it's like, it's room. like, oh, ooh, no, 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 racist, racist. I'm doing the, uh, I'm doing racist. the, racist. Oh, yeah, I'm doing the, 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 I'm doing
where this man was trying to get out of being in a prison cell in a school, which I, you got to watch the anime. It's sure, stupid. yeah. It's disturbing and hilarious, but mostly disturbing. Um, he was asked, are you an ass or a tits man? And the dude's like, I'm a tits man. But if I really think about it, going back to the beginning of time, cavemen, when they weren't grabbing tits, they were grabbing ladies by their by their legs and forcing them open, and they were just going to town. Whoa, wow. Whoa. That's... The origin of tits, the love for tits, comes from the ass. Because when we were crawling on all fours, <laughs> looking for looking for that sexual pleasure, we were looking at the ass, not the tits. The tits came later. I'm an ass man originally. Yo, I man. came from an anime. That was pretty much the premise. Yo, dude. Do me a hey, favor. Just Fred, from now on, just take credit for that being your idea. Because yeah. that was amazing. Thank you. By the way, plus one Japan. Yeah, plus one Japan. I'm just saying. That uh, was... Japan, Japan's thinking about this shit on levels we're not even uh, I can't. I, I, I'm not even ashamed to admit that when I watched that part of the anime, I was like, oh my god, revelation. Yeah, Holy no. shit, we should all be ass men now. Not ashamed to admit it. Not ashamed to admit it. Morally, the morally You stood up and started clapping. I, I actually did clap in my chair while I was watching it. proud to be an I mean, American. I had to pull because at least I'm Japanese, Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't forget the ass that split to give those tits to me. And, and I, I want you to crawl up and then worship them. the butt because then you mean to have tits because I'm proud to be a Japanese person <laughs> who, who loves tentacles and girls. Who loves tentacles and, and tits. tits. <laughs> oh. This went in some weird places, guys. <laughs> I got out here, you know, I the I know. <laughs> Emotionally mad. Listen, uh, this is getting uh, really, really real. This has been an all-encompassing episode. I'm I know. Thinking. Okay, uh, really we quick. went from real politics quick. to the military <laughs> to treason right. to tits and ass. <laughs> okay, one more, one more question. Yeah. yeah. I want you to imagine, imagine you're in a uh, South Florida titty bar. Yeah. And, uh, and then all, all of a sudden. The, the MC comes on and says, oh, get ready. It's almost time for the TIB show. And there's yeah. a ripple goes through the crowd. Everyone gets really excited. A bunch of people start grabbing their dollar bills. They start running up. They start gathering around the fringes. And then the TIB show begins. Once you're seeing the TIB show, what's your guess as to what the TIB stands for? Oh, this is us right here, That is a great question. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... But like, shut up! Don't cut him off. <laughs> right? Yeah. Nobody heard that. Nobody it's heard fine. that. It's fine. It's fine. Anyways, um, I would. I honestly don't even know where to go from here. Take a here. guess. Take a guess. TIB. The uh, TIB. Everyone electric. Electric in the audience. Very excited about it. Uh, and oh my fact, god! The insane. I don't know. I got nothing. It's the insane, insane bitch. bitch. Very rarely. Right. Normally they forget you, you the You can pull, pull up into this thing here and I'll click a button. No. Oh, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got you. Uh, the insane bitch. All right, man. I'm going to give you one more guess. <laughs> and I'm going to let you know that uh, the I is in. In. Oh, I was afraid it was going to be in. Um... <laughs> 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 Testicles in bags. Oh my god, that would be an amazing wow. show! <laughs> Testicles oh. in bags. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I don't even know why that crossed my mind. I haven't watched too much anime. What about. So, so, oh, that'd be tentacles in bags, right? So just, yeah, there you to, go. Just, just to let you know, uh, they go, oh, the TIB show's about to start, and the entire titty bar converges on this center stage, and they're like cheering and chanting, and revelry is happening. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, listen, if you want these girls to come out, you better start throwing dollars on the stage right now. Unprompted. Nobody's on stage. Dollars raining down. Right? These ladies come out. And this strip club announcer says, ladies and gentlemen. And it's like playing the fucking uh, bulls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tongue in Bush Show! Yeah, I'd pay to see that show. 
Yeah, all right. Dude, perfect. All right, call it in scene. That's it. Right Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you so much for the show. Thank